do forgive the communist symbol right there but yes this is the French concession in Shanghai um, used to be a separate territory from China controlled by the Frenchies there was also an international concession which was controlled by the British and the Americans creepy nighttime vibes check out all of these cables like Check this out. Oh, he used to be carrying a rifle. Someone's taken his rifle away. Here in this neighborhood, there's a picture of printouts of CCTV footage of two people who've possibly done something bad. I wonder what they did. So you can just see the sign on the right in blue on this street, of course. Nothing has ever happened before. This is the corner of Yuqing Road and Hengshan Road. This is Hengshan Road, one of the main streets in the city. Most, city, most streets in Shanghai run east to west or north to south. Hengshan is one of the unique streets that does not. It runs kind of uh, southwest to northeast. So this is Yongkang Lu at about midnight, exactly midnight. The streets are reasonably quiet, just one or two bars open. Um, it's quite peaceful to be fair. Here's one restaurant, Japanese restaurant, this is now closed. Coffee shop closed. Uh, what's this? Some kind of tea shop closed. Over there on my left is a surfboard shop, which I have no idea how that place ever does any business. We have a Goose Island place right in front of us, which is strangely popular. What else is there around here? A French place. A motion for slow life up there. Most of these places I've never been to. Drunken dude. One of my favorite Indian restaurants is here called Kebabs on the Grill, which does seem a strange name for an Indian restaurant. of security people on bicycles this is a hair salon which I really like obviously I don't have any hair but I like it because it has multiple cats look at him typical Shanghainese pharmacy with wheelchairs Home shop, coffee shop, old people enjoying themselves, and another coffee shop. Food. Let me introduce a typical. Chinese convenience store here. So typical that it's Japanese, but you know you get the point. Have a look at what we got inside. Got basically everything you could possibly need. Baked goods. Ice creams. Peas and dumplings and stuff over there. Toiletries. Strange snacks.
drinks. That's why I'm here. Leaves everywhere. Quite pretty, especially the noise it makes. Look how windy it is here. Trash collection point in this part of the city. I like the metal work up here of the trash collector on the roof of the building. And that red banner is something motivational, I'm sure. Here we have a woman singing Chinese opera in the park. So this is one of the interesting examples of architecture in French concession. This is Hengshan Cinema. Been closed for the past year, been closed since COVID, but still an interesting building despite the commie star at the, at the top. Not sure, but this might be another commie propaganda thing. I'll translate this later and see. Is it commie? We'll see. So this dude thought that was a, an acceptable way to park his car for the night. So this is a very nice Art Deco building, despite the propaganda at the bottom, recently venerated as well. So these are storage lockers in my compound. Here's a nice camera, just to remind us. You're always being watched. Hello. So this is Shanghai after the rain. It hasn't rained here for a long time. It's not raining right now, but it's still wet. And I like the reflections you get from the rain, from the wetness. Mr. Sandman. Maybe it's Mr. Sandman. So this building is nice. It's got, even got its own tower. Unfortunately, it's hidden behind a two meter high wall. So you can't really get a good view of it, but you can see the tower there. Check out what we got in this shop here. We've got vases, we've got him and him. 